Wait a bloody moment. Is that... Thor's hammer. And his daughter. I'll make you proud, Dad. Well, good for her. We're heading back to Charlie? Yes. He's not gonna be very happy with me. No. Excuse for neglecting you. I will do my best to earn it. Look here, Freya. Merkweed. I tell you something. What is wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing. It's just, uh, don't know if you've heard, but we're gonna say goodbye to Brock in Svartalfheim. A funeral? Yeah. Remain at Rab's Tavern in Nithervalir. We will be there. Crazy to say it, but I got a good feeling about that Thrude girl. Never mind in what family she came from. <laughs> I quite agree. She's an impressive young woman. I thought you might. Well, I ain't never seen anyone quite so awestruck as when she laid eyes on you back at the hall. Like meeting her idol. She was apparently quite eager to learn from all the Valkyries. Now that she has Mjolnir, I expect her next stop will be to begin training with Sigrun. I think Brock and Sindri would be happy knowing that hammer's finally with someone worthy to wield it. And a future Valkyrie, no less. Hell of a job you did at Ragnarok, General. Wish I could have been there to see you and Sindri take down Thor and Odin. That is not what happened. Yeah, maybe not, but it's the story I like best. Important thing is, Odin's paid in full for what he did to Brock. I know it doesn't fix what's broke, but it ain't nothing. Hello, Lunda. Hey, you goddess. Uh, about your brother, I never got the chance to tell you. I, I know moments like this, you're supposed to say sorry and whatnot, but I 
always known that pretty, pretty man had greatness in him. That he'd do something amazing one day. And I'm just, you know, I'm proud that now the Nine Realms know it too. I, I thank you. Anytime, ma'am. Profane alternate lyrics to my ballads. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> uh, but now I wish I could remember some of them. Oh, the paperwork that man created for me. I had to build a chest just for his violations. A big one. I taught him 20 different ways to cold forge a bolster. <laughs> one. He taught me a slightly easier method of wire pulling, and from that day on, called me his apprentice. <laughs> a true asshole he was. Gods, I'm gonna miss him. Hi. Y'all made it. Just about to send him off. I have met many on my travels. You are one of the few I would call friend. I always thought you were one of the dumbest creatures I'd ever met. Didn't expect you to be the bravest, too. This world is a darker place for your leaving it. We're taking him to the Sphered Sands. It's, uh, in the wetlands near the ferry. We'll wait for you there. What is wrong? I should have changed, sewn some mourning garb. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. Phil, now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> Thanks for trying.
There they are, brother. Oh, come on, surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin. It's bigger the more you take away.
forgive Sindri. He's just, uh, I mean, you know. I wrote that dirge for him. What's it called? Something profane. He wouldn't have it any other way. I don't know if there's anything beyond the light. Afterlives, after afterlives, or whatever you. But if there is, I imagine he's causing one crazy ruckus there. <laughs>